Hello everyone. Today I downloaded Unreal Engine 5 and the reason I've done it is because I wanted to test out how next-gen games will be like. And there are already samples published by Epic Games that we can actually test out and see, well, what Unreal Engine 5 is capable of. Now, one of them that I tried uh, was the um, city sample, kind of the metrics like on the PlayStation 5, remember? Uh, I'm going to show you this soon, by the way, because on PC it's actually run with ray tracing and it looks incredible even better than the playstation 5 but what you see here remember this one this was one of the demonstration uh by epic games uh this is called valley of the ancient and uh basically uh we kind of can play around this is by the way in editors so basically kind of in game it's just running in real time inside the unreal agent 5 editor so we're kind of moving around the environment investigating things so how does it look so realistic and again this is in real time uh, Unreal Engine 5 uses Nanite Virtual Geometry. Uh, basically, uh, it renders uh, the details that you see, you can actually perceive, and nothing more. So basically, what's in your view and everything behind it won't be seen. Only what you view is actually rendered. So this allows developers to put very high quality uh, 3D models and into the scene and actually those will be optimized depends on the distance of the camera from those 3d assets so low geometry will be used uh, when you are further away from those objects and of course uh, part of the 3d models that aren't actually uh, visible to you won't actually be rendered this allows you to you know the engine to uh, increase performance and allow developers to use very high quality photorealistic assets and I'm just going to quote something from uh, the official uh, Epic uh, Unreal Engine.com. It says, uh, Nano's internal mesh format and rendering technology means that its representation changes dynamically as you move through the world, updating the level of detail on the fly and calling parts that aren't rendered on screen. Objects closer to the player camera receive more detail, while further objects receive less, all while keeping on screen detail uniform right so this is why uh this engine is able to render such such a beautiful world so just by testing this project inside uh unreal engine 5 i already felt like i'm playing a next gen game that i haven't played before i was blown away i was blown away and of course when running on the pc i remember trying out the uh, the CD, you know, the kind of the matrix like uh, demonstration. Still, I felt it on the PlayStation 5. Of course, it didn't use ray tracing. And again, uh, it, the anti aliasing was low. Uh, you know, it's kind of was balanced to kind of match the performance of PlayStation 5. But on PC and uh, running, by the way, on the 3070 Ti. And of course, we need to keep in mind that uh, games will be also support, I uh, probably support DLSS as well. Uh, you can run those. Uh, games with ray tracing on uh, and all these amazing amazing visual fidelity uh, on pc and it's going to look absolutely insane so the thing if you want to try it yourself by the way you can download unreal engine 5 and there are simple projects designed for unreal engine 5 like this one that you see here that allows you to actually test and see well see for yourself how it's looked like now, there are ways to optimize it if you see kind of frame drops again. Keep in mind some samples running on ray tracing as well. So, you know, it's very, very demanding. But you can optimize things and change some of the, for example, like anti aliasing. Uh, you can change post processing, you know, the details of the textures, you know, different things and scale resolution. So, to optimize it to run better on your hardware. So for me, this is just a demo. This sample demo was absolutely insane. And of course, we can expect games that are developed using Unreal Engine 5 in the near future, of course, to see uh, something that looks even much more impressive than what we see here, which is just a sample, of course. And it's amazing seeing how fast you can actually traverse 
to all this beautiful, beautiful environment that looks like, you know, out of this world, right? This is truly next gen thing. And you can just move so, so fast and get so close and see all the details. You know, it's not like, you know, current gen, when you get close and you can see the low res textures, you can see the highest quality texture when you get very, very close. And you can just move through it so, so fast and get really amazing frame rates. This is just absolutely incredible. Now the same goes to the CD sample, by the way, here with ray tracing on, and it looks absolutely incredible. But of course, keep in mind that not every game made with Unreal Engine 5 will look realistic, all right? This just depends on the creativity of the developer. If a developer wants to create a realistic looking environment, an open world game, for example, they can use it and uh, it can look absolutely out of this world, super photorealistic. As you can see, all the lightning bounces on objects and then them bouncing back, you know, and again, ray tracing makes everything just pop. Because again, when you look at reflections, uh, it really gets you an idea, you know, when something looks realistic, because it's all about how lighting reacts with objects in the scene. You can see on the car, on the road, the water, it's crazy. And of course, objects, uh, in this case buildings further away from me, are going to be more detailed, but I won't be able to notice it because, again, these are uh, textures and 3D models further away from me. If I get close, I can see all the details, very detailed textures. Uh, and of course, objects will appear uh, in higher resolution. So what you see here is not a video again. This is all in real time. This is what you're going to see in games. Not this specific thing, but you know, you're going to see something similar to it. Very, very detailed and photorealistic environments. So I hope you find this one uh, inspiring, motivating, you know, of what coming is next to your console, whether it's next gen console, PS5, Xbox Series X, and of course, uh, PC. Games are going to look so much different than what we have now. This is going to be truly next gen. And of course, this is due to Unreal Engine 5. So it's not just the hardware. We need an engine to really make it happen. So I hope you enjoyed this one. If you did, please consider leaving a like and subscribe to my channel. More cool content is coming on my channel. I also have a VR channel. Make sure to check it out. Also post from time to time VR things related on this channel and much more interesting stuff, gameplay, new games, pre-release ones. So make sure to give a like and subscribe. I'll see you on the next one. Thanks for watching.